Last episode, we finished the Fortis Colosseum, finally killing Sol Heredit after the sixth boss attempt. I locked myself just to that content until the new best and slot was accomplished. Now can I can finally get around to experiencing the rest of Alamore and claiming those much needed uniques. Valamor offers new hunter alternatives, the new creatures that live here, and also rumours themselves. These are essentially farming contracts, but for hunter. In addition, we have other PVM content aimed for mid-level accounts, Moons of Peril, three new bosses, all of which give the chance of receiving rewards for each of their outfits if successful. These rewards, very much like Barrows, are claimed from the coveted chest that awaits at the end of the dungeon. I'm gonna have to get these quests done first of all before we can get into the more exciting content. There are four new quests that come with the expansion, so these shouldn't take too long, it should be like a, a couple hours or so, and then I have everything unlocked then at that point. <laughs> I do say more exciting content, but I mean, it is pretty much Barrows V2 and Contracts, you know, like there's not really anything too great with this area. There is plenty of collection log slots I do need though, so it will be really good for the account's progress. Even if it's not the most thrilling content, at least it's going to be really beneficial to the account, so I'll be shooting myself in the foot if I don't get it done either way. I believe this is the end of the first quest. Yeah, there we go. Twilight's Promise. Three more to go. And there's At First Light as well. Capybara. Uh, another one up. And on to the final quest. This should unlock us the Moons of Peril. Access to the new armor sets. There's so much running around already. There better be a quicker mode of transportation or something in here because if it is between every single run I can see why people have been moaning a little bit I will say it does look very cool to be fair though right if I've got this correct it looks like we gather some fish and we're going into the first boss room ooh spooky yeah seems like my accuracy is pretty dog shit I guess these are pretty high defense this phase is pretty cool and unique though I do like this phase the benefits of delaying doing content, I know that my setup is pretty good. Because I can just copy what other people have done, you know. So yeah, it turns out if you actually um, drink your combat part, it actually helps. So, um, pro tip. <laughs> Second boss down. There's the third one. That should be the end of the quest. And I should be able to clean my first chest as well, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if I can get as lucky as these other people getting a collection lock on the first chest. There we go, there's the final quest of this part completed now. And never lucky, as expected. Can't believe it. But that is our first collection look from here, so one down. Like, what, 15 to go or something? Collection log slot completed. There's the first unique from the place. Pretty nice. Let's put them in the bank so I don't end up taking up unnecessary invent spots. Can we get the back to back already? Never lucky. Collection log slot completed. Collection log you know what? That is a back to back completed. though. Okay, I've been sending quite a few of these now. I've gotten a pretty good rhythm. Like, it's pretty easy. There's not really much to say about it, to be honest. Like, it's very straightforward, the actual bosses themselves. One stab, one slash, and one is crush, I believe, or slash, I'm not too sure. But, very, it just seems like you deal with two phases of each boss, at least with my gear. So each one is probably about four, four or so minutes. It just depends how quickly you go and how unlucky you get with the phases. This boss has three phases. The first being the normal attack cycle, moving around the room. You just stand on the lit circle with the sun icon. The second phase, you'll be thrown onto the edge of the room. You'll need to hide behind the large ball. It acts the same way as a Zuck shield. And then finally the zero attack phase. So the boss will attack you three times in a row before taking a small break. During this time you click in its direction, any weapon you're using will have no attack delay. Hence why I'm using like an Elder Maul, as it's my highest hitting weapon. This boss is supposedly weak to stab, but I'm not sure if Scythe is better. I've considered switching back to Rapier to save supplies, as I mean the Scythe just really isn't necessary here. And it might not even be better. Alright, second boss, the Blue Moon. This is the most annoying phase for me, it just... Sometimes it's so fucking easy to dodge when the others you just get fucked over by just when you have to light the flame. But as a whole, it's really quick to kill. It's just the um, same sort of thing, just to attack it. You can normally get like a one down with the Siphon Claws if you if you use your specs correctly. This boss is definitely the better one to do of the three. Alright, 71 PC. That's, what, like, 
50 KC later. I was getting incredibly spooned earlier though. Collection logs Very slot. cool. These are flying in now. Collection log slot. I'm a pretty big fan of this no dupe mechanic on the mid level content, you know. Six items already. Um, I'm very lucky. I've only got six more to go. Like what? Collection log slot completed. And another one. Collection log slot completed. Collection log slot completed. Three to go. Collection log slot completed. All right, I wasn't recording. One more to go. And there we have it. It's done. Oh my god, I've been so lucky. That's Moons of Peril completed. 13 out of 13. I've got 1171 slots. Oh, closing in on that 1200 now. I should get that soon. And here we go, the full set. That's what they look like. They do look pretty clean. They're kind of like very tribally. At least the Blood Moon one. Much more modern than like the typical old school barrels, right? I mean, I know they're not barrels, but they're just caught in the same sort of way, right? I guess we head over and get some of the easier collection log slots from the rooms now, yeah? Very similar to Moons of Peril. I imagine I'm not going to show too much of doing Hunter because it's just typical Hunter. There are a few new cool Hunter creatures actually, so I'll show them. I'm not too sure what you can do with the meats and such. I think there's like some sort of like new healable food and things from the actual rumors you can get, but I'm mainly here for the collection logs. So we're back after completing a stack of rumors. I don't want to delay it too much at the start. Because I want to get the new Quetzal transportation system out of the way, which you get you get bird feed from the rumor bags, which allows you to unlock the current locked transportation sites. Alright, here's the 20th rumor done. Let's open these up, see what we can get. Completely clean collection log. There's six slots here. Very unlikely I'm gonna get the Quetzal, but I wanna get the at least the other five pieces, which should be relatively common. Yep, that's what we're looking for, the Quetzal feed for the transportation system. Also, rates aren't released yet. I don't know how common these drops are. These 20 rumors took a few hours, though. Well, what's this? Okay. Enhance Quetzal Whistle? Um, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so that's just my teleport option to get to the Hunter Guild. At least that's out of the way. And as mentioned, don't want to show too much of a fun The 30th one done now. So that's 50 total. Let's whack these open as well. Herbivore. Fucking... Herbivore right now, I don't know. They better change it, but it takes fucking ages. I've spent like an hour and a half on one of these tasks before. Alright, let's begin. Surely this provides the first log slot. Come on. Uh, okay, that's an upgraded version of the Quetzal. More teleport. Then more. Collection and, oh, slots. yeah, there we go. Completed. Nice. Alright, at least we got one so far. It does not look great, though. <laughs> <laughs> and no luck on the last one, either. And the Enhanced Quetzal. I think that's the best one I can get, if I'm not mistaken. If not, anyone let us know. One, one down, five to go. Here's another 50 coming in. I'll probably just zoom in back to 50 or 100s from now. Because this takes me a good few hours to get. I'm getting like 8 to 10 an hour. It's not the best speed. I'll just speed these ones up now, so you don't have to wait ages, because these 50 will take a little bit longer to open. Well, that's shocking. I really don't want to be spending ages doing this, but that's 100 done. I've had one piece and 3.5 mil, not the best loot. But I can see the loot being pretty decent on like early Iron Man, if you can get here. It just depends on what um, sort of loot the earlier rumors give though. All right, next 50 incoming. Collection log slot. Okay, we got there in the end. Two out of four for their outfit now. 
collection log slot. There we go. These must be dupe protected, which is good. I mean, I, I thought so, but I don't. I haven't heard anywhere where they, it isn't, you know? So it's always it's kind of a bit of a feel like, hey, if they're that common, sometimes they might not bother. But these seem to be like, uh, probably like, what, 1 in 50-ish? Maybe 100? I can't imagine being much more than that. Not bad opening. One more piece of the gear slot for the rumors now. And you guessed it, 50 more, let's go. Collection log slot completed. Huntsman kit. Alright, so last piece of the set and the Quetzal now. Collection log slot. Alright, we're done. Completed. Don't need to come back until I do pet on it, which is gonna be a very long time. I did not enjoy these too much at all. There's supposedly a block list um that you can do, but I just I thought I wouldn't be here too long, so I didn't think it would be worth the time to set it up, but it turns out it probably was. I wasted a lot of time. As you'd expect, no pet from the final ones. Very successful episode, not the most interesting, but it is new content, so can't complain too much there. Once I get these 1200 log slots out of the way, I'll be able to get onto this specific box grind, so I'm looking forward to that. We gained a total of 18 collection log slots this episode, so very cool. I'm not sure what we're going to do next, but I guess we'll find out next video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, drop us a like, subscribe in a bit.